It's here. It's October 25th, 2020, which means it is day 25 of the 31 Days of Fright Horror Movie Project. Year 9, we are into our final week. I cannot believe how fast this month has gone by. I am the one and only MSJ, Max for short, and welcome to my YouTube channel. And today officially starts Tales from the Crypt week. I will be covering the first and last episode of each season. Um, there's like 93 some episodes. I'm like, I was trying to figure out a way to kind of properly kind of come cover all the seasons in a way that'd be kind of fun and like you know what i'll just book in each season by watching the first and last episodes and so if you want to kind of watch along that's kind of gives you a, a really simple way to watch along with me and today's episodes for season one i will be covering is the man who was death and um collection completed um but before i go any further and tell you what you need to know about these episodes is that i need you to click subscribe, hit the bell to stay notified for any future videos I will be creating right here on this channel, and as well as leave a like and share this video. That would help me get my channel and videos out there to a much broader audience, and as well as leave a comment down below. What's your experience with Tales from the Crypt? Um, just I know it's like I said, it's 93 some episodes. Guest stars galore, like the writing is really good. I'll kind of touch that on in a second. But um, just what is just what's your experience with the show? Um, what which is your favorite episode? Which episode is your least favorite? I'm gonna try to watch as many of these episodes as I can this week, but I'm only gonna cover two from each season. So. Um, the first episode I will be covering and telling you what you need to know is episode one, season one, The Man Who Was Death. It follows um, William Sadler. He plays a um, former electrician turned prison executioner. He throws the switch on the electric chair and he is let go due to some legislation in, and kind of like halting or outlawing um, capital punishment. So he's out of a job and the prison will not keep him on due to the fact that due to his status, you know, it's like, we can't keep you on because life is going to be hard for you here and you're just going to upset the inmates. So you're gone. And not taking that as a no, you know, like I'm still going to do my job. Um, he kind of takes it upon himself to start killing people with electricity because he's a he just loves electricity and due to fourth wall breaks this is a really done really well I, he's a very good actor William Sadler you may recognize him from like um from the Shawshank Redemption The Mist um you'll recognize uh, you'll recognize him from anywhere you know he's a very recognizable actor uh he's really really good in this episode breaking the fourth wall kind of just talking about his life as a like former electrician and just stuff like that and like what goes on with the inmate who ends up getting um electrocuted like um just like he looks him in the eye and stuff like that like because like people say it spooks him like it's just really done all done really really well and and so he starts killing people with electricity and he ultimately ends up getting caught and as you know, Tales from the Crypt kind of has these um, end of the episode zingers, like kind of like um, kind of turns the thing around on him, and so he ends up being the one who ha is who has to sit in the electric chair due to like oh we're the law has been uh, overturned, and so it's like guess what you're going to be electrocuted, and he is kind of like begging and screaming and like and crying like the, like the governor will call and you know, for the stay of execution and all that kind of stuff and which is very reminiscent of how the episode began where one of the um people on death row who's who's walking the the green mile the mile to the um to the electric chair he's doing the exact same thing and it's just i like that that was a very good first episode um I have notes so I can kind of keep these episodes kind of clear. <laughs> but I just really liked it. Like the um, episode was written really, really well. Um, just William Sadler's delivery of it all was just 
perfect. And he, he has that country voice, or uh, you know, like that southern boy, southern man uh, twang to it. And it's just like, oh, it's, it just makes the episode better because he kind of has like a, a southern drawl. That's what I was trying to think of. And so it's just done really, really well. I really like this episode. These episodes only run like 20, 25 minutes long. So, um... Oh, man, that was a very good episode. I've never seen that episode before, so that was really cool. Now, for the next episode, it is Season 1, Episode 6, Collection Completed. This one it made me very uns it was very unsettling to me, and I'll tell you why in a second. Because it's a newly retired, very grumpy old tool salesman who who's he's been he's retired and so he's forced to stay at home with his wife and and her collection of stray animals ranging from bulldogs and cats and um, she's been known to feed the squirrels and birds and she just has this very um affection for animals and like she has a like a a way of dealing with animals better than she does with humans. So she has a little bit more of a, um, what's it called? Repertoire or, um, kind of more of a, um, just the way of like interacting with animals better than humans. Just due to the fact that she's home all day by herself due to, um, the act, the main guy played by M. Emmett Walsh, um, Jonas, he's constantly out doing his job and he comes home late at night and repeats for 47 years so she's home she's a housewife so she stays home by herself and to occupy her time she collects animals and so him being home all the time things kind of start to ramp up in a big bad way like things start to kind of be really annoying to him and the animals are kind of taking a little bit more front and center and she's kind of treating him more like an animal hiding pills and um chocolate and and washing um, the koi in the shower when he needs to get into the shower or he when he just needs his bathroom privacy she's right there you know he's learning to be retired and so like this random neighbor keeps showing up and it's like here here's a new hobby and let's um kind of build an airplane so it, it's kind of like um kind of seeding a kind of like oh what's his hobby going to be kind of thing so like kind of foreshadowing that he's going to have like this dark um hobby that's going to be revealed and like i mentioned the the big zinger at the end is that he ends up turning all her um stray animals into um taxidermy he his has hobbies taxidermy so this is this is where it gets really unsettling for me because the very end of the episode uh, right before the big like the big zinger is that He's kind of walking through his little um, showcase, his collection of taxidermied animals, and the way he's kind of like touching a few of them, and like, well, like not in like a very inappropriate way or anything like that. It's just like, like there's there's this one dog that's just like obviously dead, and it's just like, oh wow, that's and the way he moves it, and I'm like that's very unsettling because I am an animal lover through and through and that was like this was very unsettling so um which he ends up getting his um upcoming uh his do justice in a way and, and because he when he's retired he gets like this silver hammer and it's used against him by the wife who was like i'm not going to take this no more i i love my animals so much more than you basically like i'm gonna protect my my children and so she uses a hammer against him uh, um, because at the beginning of the episode we meet um this new stray and uh, mew mew and <laughs> what a great name for a cat and so she protects the cat and then the big zinger at the end is that um the, our main antagonist uh pro antagonist of the episode he is taxidermied himself in a very, very crudely way. And, like, the, that random neighbor that keeps showing up, and he sees, like, like, oh, how are you guys doing? And the big reveal, and it's, like, so crudely stitched, and his eyeballs are, like, kind of popping out. And it's just, like, oh, that's really, really funny. And so he kind of get, he gets his uh, upcomings. So 
it's it's a really good episode. I thought it was like other than the big um, unsettling moment where he's kind of showcasing his um, his trophies and stuff like that, his taxidermied um, hobby. It was a really good because um, Emmett Wash M Emmett Wash plays a, a grumpy character very very well. Um, he, but there's at times where I thought like maybe he's actually going to finally settle down and kind of just enjoy retirement but it's just his natural habit of working for 47 years kind of gets the best of him he's tearing up the lawn because he's constantly cutting bushes down and in a very very crudely way it's like i think he's end up killing most of the bushes and stuff like that so it's just really fun it was a fun episode just it kind of got a little dark there for like a few moments and so, um, of the two episodes that I watched, I prefer The Man Who Was Death, just due to the fact that it kind of moved a little bit faster, and had a, uh, just the dialogue was a little bit better, um, but both episodes were really good. So, um, the first two episodes that I watched of season one, or the first and last episodes, were really good. Um, I cannot wait to continue um, this series for the rest of the week. I'm going to actually finish the first season because it's only six episodes, so I'm just going to continue watching that for the rest of the day. Um, I just cannot wait to see what other episodes on are to watch because Tales from the Crypt to, is very new to me. I've seen one or two episodes. I've seen the Three Little Pigs animated feature, which I will cover at the that will be the very last episode that I cover. Um, just kind of heads up on that one because uh, that is the final episode of the series, and so I just can't wait to get into it. Uh, this is a very strong start to this week, so. That is all I got to say. I won't have a rating scale due to the fact that these are episodes. But um, I just say watch them with a friend. These are really good episodes to watch with somebody. And this is a show just to watch with somebody, period. Because there are like, horror anthologies. And I'm a huge fan of horror anthologies. The one movie that I watch every year is Trick or Treat. Um, that's my final horror movie of the month, no matter what. And that's a horror anthology. So I'm like, you know what? It'd be kind of fun to do a whole week of anthology horror stories. So, um, that's all I gotta say. I am the one and only MSJ, Max for short, and please do not forget to click subscribe, hit that bell, um, leave a comment, like, and share this video, and in doing so, I forgot at the top of the video, please go and click subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff for uh, I Am The Ice Lord, The 13th Wolf Man, uh, he's been having some really good videos here lately. I'm, I'm a little behind because I was on vacation out in the middle of the woods. So I've been ca trying to catch up on everybody's. Um, we got Tony Nine has, um, Nine Fingers, Nightmare Maven, uh, Moods, Double Shot J, um, Indie Film Cafe. Um, uh, who else is there? Um, who else is doing it? Um, gosh, I cannot remember everybody. I'm going to try to write these down for the next video. Um, but... Uh, please go give them all the love and support as well because they're having so much fun. And like I mentioned in previous videos, we're so vastly different in doing all the things. Like, I'm doing a whole Tales from the Crypt week. And um, what, 13th Wolfman, he's been reviewing some movies that have been um, taking actual scenes from big block buster movies. Like, um, I think Aliens and kind of incorporating it into the movie. And I'm like... I have to see that movie. I would have never known about that movie unless I've watched his videos. And so they're all, and you learn all kinds of stuff from watching everybody because everybody does vastly different things. So um, please go show them some support, please. We are, like, they're all great and I would deeply appreciate it. So um, that is all I have to say. My final words, as always, are thank you.